What is up, you guys? Welcome to the top process, or welcome back to all my returning subscribers. Shout out to you guys. I'm pretty excited, if you can't tell, for this topic. I've been eager to speak on it for quite some time now. So, before we get started, if you have no idea who I am and you just so happen to stumble across this video, my name is Tatiana Manawas and I'm a singer-songwriter and I pretty much just started this video series to give you guys some insight on who I am outside of music. Um, so sharing with you guys some of the things I think, some of the things I feel, why I think or feel them, and things like that. So, let's get started. So as you can see by the title, we're talking about being single. Woo! As a fellow single person, I've come to three very important conclusions. Number one, it really is okay to be single. Number two, society has a way of making you feel and think otherwise. And three, it became mandatory for me to speak on this subject for all my fellow single people to know why one and two are in fact true. Um, and if you're not single and you're booed up, <laughs> keep watching anyway. You might find this information helpful. And you know, if you don't watch it now and things don't work out with whoever you're with now, I don't wish it upon you. But just in the event that it doesn't work out, this video will be here for you anyway. Got you. We're just gonna dive right into all of this because we got a few things to unpack and you know, I don't want to waste you guys' time because we want to we wanna move on with our, <laughs> with our lives. Being single, we have so much to do. All right. Number one, being single is a chance to get to know yourself. I cannot expect somebody to love, trust, and respect me if I don't know who me is. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, let's really just sit on that for a second. I'm talking about from your triggers to your traumas, to your dislikes, to your likes. You know what I'm saying? Love, hates, whatever you wanna list. I do believe in that, you know, when you meet somebody, you can kind of learn more about yourself. But if you don't know yourself, like really at all, you're either going to learn about yourself while, with a, while you're with a person. And then they find out that they don't really mesh with who you really are or you're gonna end up with a person and find out about yourself and find out that you no longer mesh with who they really are it's not fair to anybody it's not fun anyway like you know what i'm saying so let's just do everybody a favor including yourself and get to know yourself while you're single get to know your likes get to know your dislikes get to know your love language get to know you know what i'm saying what your triggers are because you know what i'm saying that's your responsibility that's what it is there it is right there getting to know yourself is your responsibility not somebody else's they're hoping you show them you if you don't know who that is i mean what do you got to show i mean anyway we won't go too deep on that here we go number two being single is a time to prepare or build a solid foundation. Let's just let's just keep it real on the top process, okay? I had to change my perspective, my expectations, and my belief system to get to where I am now, as in being single and being okay being single. I I will share with you the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I used to be the type of person that felt the need to be with somebody to feel like I was okay. It doesn't mean like I was always with somebody. It just means that my belief was for one backwards, but for two, I always was like looking to be with somebody and I felt like not in place or I felt not whole or whatever, which is so backwards because if you need that person to make you feel that way, I mean, that's already lopsided. So if you guys get in a relationship together with starting with that, you'll be lopsided from the get go. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just unfair from the get go. So what I was getting at was doing that, rearranging your perspective, rearranging your expectations and belief system. That takes time and work, okay? Let's just keep it real on the top process. So while you're single is a chance for you to build or rebuild, however you wanna say it, a solid foundation. So if at one point my old beliefs were, if you watch my recent video, I used to believe that I was unlovable. I had to unpack that in therapy and doing the daily works. I believed that I was unlovable. I believed that I needed someone to be fulfilled. My expectations used to be things like someone would protect my heart for me. That was my expectation in, a, in an intimate relationship was that they were the ones to guard my heart. That's so backwards, so dangerous, so toxic. Don't do that change that <laughs> if you haven't already and then my perspective would be like being in a relationship would make all my problems go away 
um, so backwards. They don't go away. And not only that, now you're distracted in one area of, with like, you know, the beginnings of a relationship, whatever you want to look at it like. Um, and you're not even dealing with the things that you need to be dealing with. Nobody's going to fix your problems for you. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen that way. It might feel like they're fixing it because they're making you feel better at the time. But that, that, your problems will still tuk, 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 knock at your door and be waiting for you to solve it. So all those things I had to rearrange in order for me to understand me not being in a relationship didn't mean I was unlovable didn't mean um you know nobody wants me or whatever kind of negative things would come up I had to rearrange all of that in order for me to be in a healthier you know mental state which was worth it it was worth all the work because at the end of the day look (laughs) the last thing I want to happen is for me to find the right one And then be the wrong one for them because I wasn't doing the work that I needed to do. Solving my childhood trauma or like, you know what I mean? Like changing my expectations. If I meet the right one, but I'm over here thinking like, ah, I'm in a relationship. Now all my problems will go away and this person will protect my heart for me. And that's too much weight for somebody. Like it's a mutual thing when you get into a relationship. It's supposed to be. So if I'm not doing the work, you know what I'm saying? I might find the right one and be the wrong one for them. I don't want that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really just don't. So being single while you're single, build a solid foundation. It's a time to prepare for the right one, which leads me into my next point. Number three, work on you becoming the right one for you. Doing the work while you're single will, will like, amaze you on when you're in a relationship, when you when you get into one. Now, I know I'm still single right now, but for even friendships, like forget just intimate relationships, even friendships, like when you're working on yourself and you're not worried first and foremost about who's going to be around you, who's, you know what I'm saying? Like who's going to be the one, who's the right one? Let's really get into it. Let's cut the crap. There's no perfect man out there. There's no perfect woman. I will never be a perfect woman. There will never be a perfect man. We're all a work in progress. Let's just keep it all the way real and admit and acknowledge that we're all a work in progress. So to me, the question then becomes, who can I help progress on their journey? And who can, can also help me do the same? I'm not going to lie. I intentionally just said, who can I help progress first before I said, who can help me progress? Because honestly, I just feel like the world lately, there's a lot of, you know, just people using each other for just to get where they want to go. Like I get, you know, that people, other people are useful, but that doesn't mean use them, (laughs) use and abuse them. So I believe it's very important. Like I said, intimate relationship or not regular relationships too. Like I believe it's important to position your heart to serve somebody else before they, before you figure out the ways that they can serve you. Like it's just a selfless way of positioning yourself. And I think that's super important. I feel like things flourish when, they, when, when you position yourself that way. Um, I'm not perfect at it. I had to change that over time. I, w- I wasn't always that way. And I didn't always believe that. Um, but I believe that now. And it's, it's proven to be like just a healthier way of going about things and just a better way of going about it. So, you know, when you're on this journey of like, you know, who am I going to marry or who am I going to end up with? search for somebody that you can help progress and they can do help you do the same like it's a team thing at the end of the day like if you're out there looking for a relationship but you're not ready to be a team you're not looking for a relationship you looking for (laughs) you looking for (laughs) um you know what i mean so let's just let's just keep it real like that's you're not looking for a relationship you're looking for somebody to do what you ask them um so yeah so preparing while you're single working on you being the right one is super important to me. I think that's definitely part of the importance of being single. So I hope I kept that one properly. I hope I didn't just rant. It felt felt natural. It felt right. But I feel like I'm missing something. But we'll, we'll move on and, and leave that one at that because I think I might just get too real. All right. Number four, being single minimizes damage. Let me break it down. Whether you like facing it or not, when you get together with somebody, you two are not the only ones who can feel the ripple effects. Friend circles, workspaces, family members, kids, even pets can be affected in situations with, you know what I'm saying, in your 
romantic situations. Like people can get affected. And so if you're making bad decisions within your love life because you just don't want to be single and you find it like not okay to be single, other people are going to feel those ripple effects. And, you know, look, I won't get too deep into it, but I have burnt friendships over trying to be with with another person. Uh, I have burnt family relationships. I have burnt business opportunities oh my god i have burnt business opportunities that one still hurts anyway they don't just affect you too so by being single and being cool with it and and working on yourself and letting god do the rest really will minimize some damage okay which leads me right into my last point of my top five reasons of the importance of being single what god's got for you is better it's it's all oh, it always has been better it always will be better than whatever you got planned and whatever you got going on sometimes you have to wait for it sometimes you have to ask for it pray for it whatever it is i know some of us not everybody is a believer not everybody has you know that kind of relationship with god i don't know where if you're watching this i don't know where you are in your faith or in your walk but what god has for you is better if you put him at the center of any relationship really but definitely in an intimate one if you put him at the center of it He'll always guide you the right way. And you might, you know, be disappointed. You might be you might be bummed because you really like this person and you really want God to bless it. But bring it to him. Ask him about it. And nine out of ten times, if you don't want to ask him about it or you feel like, you know, you know, whatever, whatever, you already know the answer. And uh, we won't dive too deep into that. But here's how I'll here's how I'll help you better understand where I'm coming from. I would rather bring it to God and ask him if this is where I should be. This is the person I should be with. Should I even be pursuing this? Even if I don't get an instant answer, I would rather do that than to be laid up now with somebody I'm not meant to be with and be left later. Like I would rather be patient, you know what I mean? Than to pursue something that wasn't at all in the plans of his purpose for me like I know it can be difficult trust me I am (laughs) I know it's not always easy okay it was not easy in the beginning for me to shift my perspective to the to the way it is now like I said in the beginning I used to be the type of person to feel like I had to be in a relationship just so I could feel like loved or whatever like that's so backwards so i definitely feel you on wanting to be in one there are perks in being in a relationship with some with somebody you care about whatever whatever but if it's not who you're meant to be with if they're hurting your you know your other relationships your other friendships or whatever it is just so you could be in a relationship you know what i mean like let me just help you pull the veil off of what society may have been making you believe is that being in a relationship is like, you know, you're missing out. It's like, I'm not missing out. I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm here to remind you if you if you know some of this already, if you've been feeling these ways, or if you n- never thought to think this way, I, I'm here to tell you that really it's okay to be single, y'all. And matter of fact, there's a lot of things that you might find that you're glad you're single you know what i'm saying after watching this video you might be glad you're single because all of us have something to work on and to just jump into a relationship just because whether you're lonely and it happens you know what i'm saying like we get lonely out here y'all it's not fun we're human like we feel lonely sometimes but to jeopardize you know your purpose and, and your mental health for that matter like to jeopardize that just so you could you know be boot up boot up you know what i'm saying like <laughs> it's not worth it to me, at least. And um, I hope some of these things on this top five list really helped you understand that it really is. There's nothing wrong with being single for a while, even as a long while. I mean, shit, I've been single for <laughs> um, a good while. But every time that I've tried to pursue somebody, it was always out of the wrong reason. And that always backfired on me. So it taught me not to go down those roads no more and kind of just turn inwards and figure out why I'm always going down those those roads and that way I don't have to go down them no more you know what I mean like there's some things we gotta handle first we gotta handle business first in here before we can let somebody in and that's one of the things I kind of wanted to speak on more in one of these points was like if you picture you like a room your room in your home your home for that matter (laughs) goodness and 
the person that's meant for you comes over and your your house your house is a mess you wouldn't want them to be over you would wish you cleaned up you know what i mean like being single is that opportunity to clean up you know what i'm saying and the the decision to put that work first instead of let me find somebody and then i'll be all better <laughs> take that belief and just throw it away whoever started that trend didn't know what they were talking about. That trend needs to die because it's not true. It's a lie. I really hope that I shed some light on this topic. And for all of my fellow singles out there, I hope you have been thoroughly enlightened on being single and, you know, the perks of being single. You get to find out who you really are and you get to spend time with yourself. You get to, you know, just be friends, like just make friends, like if you're lonely, hey, yo, everybody's lonely out here in this world. Make a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have to jump so fast. The world might make you feel like you got to jump into every relationship that presents itself. No. No, you don't. And who knows? Maybe I'm outdated in the info. Maybe maybe the world isn't this way no more. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm just the one who's catching up. But if you needed this, drop it in the comments. Um, say, this helped me. You know, I'm struggling to be single. Sis, bro, same. Okay? It's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a solo ride, but you can still put on the music. You can still sing along to your favorite songs. You can still let your hands out in the wind. You know what I'm saying? It's not all doom and gloom being single. Whoever made you believe that, you know, is going through some things. <laughs> But anyway, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was insightful, inspiring, and a source of positive energy. Like I said, drop it in the comments if you found any of these things helpful to hear. And shout out to everybody who keeps showing up, keep watching these videos, who keep showing up in the comments, sharing, liking, subscribing. Shout out to every single one of you. I wouldn't be able to keep doing this without you guys. I appreciate all your love and support. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode. But until then, I love you guys. Mwah!